when you get one on ones and things like that, you're able to take advantage of them if you, you know, stay consistent in, in your technique and things like that. So, yeah, things have been good so far. Kevin, what would it mean to you to be the first guy Winks ever had who gets a double digit sack season? I mean, honestly, you know, it, it'd be a blessing, I guess. You know, I'm, I, right now I'm at eight and a half sacks, most sacks I've ever had in the NFL. So it's like, it's only up from here. You know, the bar keeps continuing to move, and um, I'm proud of that. Okay, well, you, you made a point in the offseason to talk about how last year maybe in your mind you had a little bit more thought about numbers, and then this year you weren't going to think about numbers, and now all of a sudden here you are sitting – I, I don't know if you even pay attention to the company you're keeping right now with yeah. where you are in the stack. No, I mean, stack yeah, numbers. yeah, I definitely, I definitely have looked. I'll, I'll be honest, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, because now you're you're chasing something. You know, sometimes when you start to your team is not in the best position, you start to look at it and like, what can I use to motivate me or what can I you know, what? Motivation can you bring to the defense or the guys around and it's playing good football, you know uh, as a defense We've been able to do some great things and now, you know, although things haven't been able to go as a season You keep your motivation by continuing to, to Reap the benefits of how good you guys are playing. So just playing together and trying to keep it keep it going What's it like just playing pretty much every snap you have in the last couple of weeks? Uh, man, sacrifice your body glorify your soul, you know, uh, you go out there and play hard <laughs> It's gonna hurt, but you know, I guess the recognition feels a lot better Coaches like to talk about things coming in bunches. I mean, the sacks seem to be coming in bunches now. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think when people say like the term like oh they come in bunches like that's almost like disrespectful to me. And I say that in the sense that like you see a guy like Daniel Hunter with ten sacks like he didn't just go now granted. Khalil Mack went and got six sacks in one game. That's in bunches. <laughs> Everybody else, a guy like you know Daniel Hunter that got ten sacks, he's been getting at least a sack every game. You know, and you talk about putting the work in and like really, you know, executing your, your plan and your technique and things like that. Like it's a lot of hard work, you know, guys you look at baseball and, you know, guys are hitting what less than 50% or whatever are getting paid millions, right? You think about pass rush out of how many snaps through you guys can do the math. It's almost however many 300, 400, 500 snaps the guy's playing a year. A guy goes 18 sacks. He's a, he's a legend, you know? So, um, I think that, you know, uh, as pass rushers, it's very hard. And, you know, the guys who are able to do it at a high level consistently, they deserve the credit. How Dan just asked you about uh, what it's like to play every snack. How are you doing? How are you playing every snap? Especially when you're on the injury report. How are yeah. you gutting through that? Conditioning. It's all about conditioning. It's all about what you're doing in the off season. And that's kind of what I prided myself in, knowing that, you know, like last year, I, I felt like I wasn't prepared and coming in, playing every snap. And this year I knew what it was going to be. So um, just training and, and kind of putting myself through that in the off season so that I could um, continue to make that run and that stretch at the end of the year. Mm -hmm.